So in this problem, we want to find the cardinalities of the Venn, inside the Venn diagram, given the cardinalities of certain sets. So we do what we did that was similar to um, a previous problem, in that we form a system of equations from our Venn diagram. And so what we can start with is a Venn diagram with two sets. So we have a set A and we have a set B. Now that Venn, those two Venn, those two sets divide up our Venn diagram into four regions. So we have a region on the outside X, a region on the inside of A, but the outside of B, which we'll call Y, a region of the intersection, which we call Z, and a region that's inside B, but outside of A, and so that is region W. And we can represent, have these variables represent the cardinalities of those regions, and so we can take that and the cardinalities of the sets we're given to construct a system of equations. So we have that the cardinality of a complement will be 21. Well, the two, the variables that make up the complement of A are the variables outside of A, which are X and W. So we have X plus W is 21. Then for our next set, we have the cardinality of B will be 26. Well, the variables that make up B are Z and W. So Z plus W gives us 26. For the cardinality of the complement of A union the complement of B, that will give us 34. So we want the regions that are outside of A, so the regions outside of A are X and W, together with the regions outside of B, which are going to be Y and X. Well, X I already have listed, so I don't have to list them again, but that also gives my region Y. So I have X plus W plus Y is 34. And then finally, for the region of my complement, or my intersection, rather, my intersection of A and B is going to have 11 elements. Well, that is just my variable Z. So Z has 11 elements in it, so Z is equal to 11. Now let's see what our system of equations might look like from there. So since we know that Z is going to be 11, everywhere else in our system, that sh as Z shows up, we can replace that with 11. So that's just going to give us a new system that looks like X plus W is 21. Z plus W becomes 11 plus W gives us 26. And then finally, for our last equation, our, we don't have a Z, so that just stays as X plus W plus Y is 34. So now that we know that 11 plus W is 26, well, we can subtract 11 on both sides, and we get that W is going to be 15. So now I know what W is. So W is going to be 15, and my Venn diagram begins to look like this that Z is going to be 11, and W was going to be 15. Now we need to figure out what X and Y are going to be. Well, once I know that W is going to be 15, in my equation here, X plus W is equal to 21, just becomes X plus 15 is equal to 21. Subtracting 15 onto both sides, tells us that x is just going to be 6. And so in my Venn diagram, I now have that x is going to be 6. And then finally, I know the value of x, I know the value of w, so x was going to be 6, w was going to be 15, plus y was 34. 
Well, 6 and 15 gives us 21, plus y is 34. If I subtract 21 on both sides, then I get the value 34 minus 21 is going to be 13. And so for my last variable in my Venn diagram, I have 13. And so which one of these seems to match our Venn diagram? The outside is 6, inside A, but outside B is 13, the intersection is 11, and inside B, but outside A is 15, and so our answer is D.